everyone in? Well, Chancellor, welcome back to the Oval Office. Welcome back to the White House. Off, we've uh, done a lot changes since the last year you were here. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, you were here in February of 2022, uh, and Russia was amassing its troops, uh, 185,000 troops on the Ukrainian border. And uh, we made it clear that if he moved, we would both respond. And together, we made good in that promise. That, uh, and I want to thank you, Olaf, for your strong and steady leadership. And I mean that sincerely. It's made a world of difference. And uh, together, we made good on our promise. You've stepped up to provide critical military support. And, you know, I would argue that beyond your military support, the moral support you gave to the Ukrainians has been profound. It's been profound. And you've driven historic changes at home. And, uh, you know, uh, increasing defense spending and uh, diversifying away from Russian energy sources. I know that's not been easy, but very difficult for you. Together, we work lockstep to supply critical security assistance to Ukraine. And uh, from everything from what we've done in lockstep, ammunition, artillery, armored tanks, air defense systems, and we've been together throughout this. You help Ukraine meet its basic needs like food, health, heating. And uh, you continue to give them, put, maintain the pressure on Putin. And uh, it is undercutting his ability to fight this war. And uh, so, uh, as NATO allies, uh, we're making the alliance stronger and more capable. You've heard me say before that uh, when I talked to Putin a couple months before that, I told him that uh, we're more likely to get the, not the, uh, the NATOization, uh, excuse me, the finalization of Europe, which he was pushing for, more likely to get the NATOization of Europe. And uh, he's had that effect in terms of uh, what's, what's happened. So uh, a lot's happened since last year. We've got a lot to talk about, and I look forward to our conversation. Thank you for having me again, and I really appreciate to be back in the White House. And uh, let me just say this. Is a very, very important year because of the very dangerous threat to peace that comes from Russia invading Ukraine. And it's really important that we acted it together, that we organized our lockstep, and that we made it feasible that we can give the necessary support to Ukraine during all this time. And at this time, I think it is very important that we give the message that we will continue to do so as long as it takes and as long as it is necessary and that we are ready also for staying with the Ukrainians as, it, as long as it is necessary. And I really appreciate the very good cooperation between the two of us, our governments and the United States and Germany and Europe. And the transatlantic partnership is really in a very good shape today. And this is very much thanks to your leadership so I'm really happy to be here to talk with you. I'm glad to talk about you. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you so much. Thank you, President. Thank you, President. Thank you so much. Mr. President, let's go. Thank you so much. Mr. President, how concerned are you about China and the ongoing threat there? Thank you so much. We're going to head outside now. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. Really Will you take a question now? Guys, we got to head out. We're going to. Mr. President, so much press. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, we're heading out now. Yes, we're all heading out. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Will you be talking about China, Mr. President? Will you be talking about China? Thank you. 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 Thank you.